Hey guys, this is Sarah Elena from Costa Rica, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you around La Fortuna, so the Arenal volcano area of Costa Rica. If you're thinking about moving to Costa Rica or if you're just coming for a travel, definitely make sure to check out the rest of this channel. I have tons of information that can help you in your move, different area tours, and a lot of just the day-to-day -day basics that you'll need to know. And if you're looking for expert assistance through that entire journey, we are here to help and you can find more information about our relocation service in the description below. All right, now let's get into the video. So this was a trip that was taken to La Fortuna Arenal. It was absolutely beautiful. I had not been up there before. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a little bit around the town, so a little bit of a driving tour, but just keep in mind that, you know, it's, it's really impossible for me to sit there and go down every road, and that really make for a long video and you might get a little bored. So in these tours, I just try to give you a good little glimpse of the town, um, so maybe some of the different activities that you can do around. So we'll do a little bit of a drive around. As you can see, you know, La Fortuna, uh, which is near the Arnal volcano, has a lot. So I was, it's, it's, of course, it's, most towns in Costa Rica are small compared to maybe what you may be used to, especially if you're coming from a big city. But no, this, house, this town really had a lot. I was very pleasantly surprised. And it had, you know, lots of banks, pharmacies, and, you know, it's got all the major things that you really need for living. Uh, lots of different stores, souvenir shops. It definitely was um, a bit touristy, but not in an overwhelming way. Uh, lots of locals, lots of people out walking, enjoying the park. You know, it was just a really, uh, it was a very lovely environment. You know, you have the Arenal Town Center, which is kind of set up like a traditional Costa Rican town with a, a park and a church. And then right outside of the town center, you know, there's lots of land, there's lots of land, lots of space, great views, mountains, the volcano, lots of different activities. Um, so it's definitely a great place if you want to come, relax, but get to go out in nature and explore. I think some people might enjoy this area, maybe who aren't really, who don't want to be in the crazy humidity of the beach. So it, I did find it to be cooler than down on the beach. If you guys know, I'm typically a person who lives around the beach. So it's definitely a lot uh, less humid up there, but I can say it was still pretty hot. You know, during the daytime anyways, wherever you are in Costa Rica, it's still probably gonna be a little bit hot, but definitely the humidity was less. I found it to be really comfortable. The nights were very fresh and comfortable as well. You know, there is an expat population that does live in these areas of La Fortuna, also over in Nuevo Arenal, Tilleran, Hopefully I'm not butchering any of these names. Um, yeah, so there are expats that are kind of sprinkled around. You know, some some that we find really do enjoy being by water, but maybe don't want to be on the humidity of the beach. So they might be around more of the Lake Arenal area, which is a really beautiful place as well. Some other things that we're, you're going to see through this video, you're gonna I'm going to show you my Airbnb, which was absolutely adorable. Um, just kind of picked it out because I wanted something with the jacuzzi and it was just so adorable, so cute. The owners were so lovely. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have the, the link to the Airbnb that I stayed at below. I just really enjoyed my stay there. Everything was very clean and they were just, um, you know, they, you can tell they really put a lot of love and uh, thought into the design and, you know, and it's a nice Tico family that owns this place. And so how, whatever we can do to support them, I enjoyed my stay. So it's just an absolute cute little place. So loved it there. Um, I honestly was actually pretty sick during this entire trip. I had a, like a lot of sinus stuff going on. Didn't get to do all the activities that I'd wanted to do, but uh, I guess some of the ones, I got to the main ones. We went to the Los Lagos um, Hotel, so that had the hot springs, which was pretty cool, but it didn't have, you know, I was kind of picturing hot springs like from a river, and I thought that like, there was gonna be a river on the site, but actually it's just the water from the hot springs, and they have it divided uh, among some of these little like pools. That was one thing. So you'll see the, the Los Lagos hot springs here. You will see uh, the actual natural free hot springs that you can go park and go enjoy the hot springs, like a real river that's warm, which was absolutely amazing. Um, we did the hanging bridges. And yeah, so I hope this video is helpful and just for you to kind of see around the area and see what it looks like for yourself. And remember, if you are looking for more information on moving to Costa Rica, and you, you can always check out our website in the description and you can book a call and we can chat about your potential move.
off to the real natural springs because the other place was super cool, but I want to see where they really come from. Just what I imagined, but being in a hot spring in Costa Rica would feel like. Where the people eat their ice cream at night. Park or the church. to paint their faces. Oh wow, look at that. This is. Super hot. This is hot. This is too hot. This is not refreshing. Going to the volcano. Here we go. Now we're on our way to go see the hanging bridges. But first, saw the lake and had to stop for a peepa. So this is the start of Lake Arenal if you're coming from La Fortuna. Apparently in the past, you used to be able to go down here. Not anymore, but I do see like a little boat tour out there. So they do have boat tours of this lake as well. Okay, so the story is about this lake is that it was made to generate electricity. And the gentleman was just telling me that there used to be a town over there um, you know, but whenever they made the lake, they'd covered the town and on a very, whenever it's very dry, you can sometimes still see the tippy top of the church that used to be there. So all the people that were in the town that now the lake covers, um, they put them in a new town called New Arenal and gave them money, I guess. large hanging bridge. 